Cancer, welcome on in. This is your birthday reading for the next solar birth year and big happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. I hope you're having a good one. We are going to pull from this deck and see, you know, what the next birth year has in store for you. And um, I'm looking forward to some interesting messages, some helpful ones, Spirit. Please give some helpful guiding messages for cancer. All right, we got some jumpers right there and I'm going to take them. Reaching your destination, finding sanctuary, narrow pathway. Okay, if you want to know what this all means, hang tight. I've got one quick message. For those of you who want more of a personalized solar report, it's only a couple minutes long. So if you stay tuned to the end of that message, we'll get into much more detail here. Did you know that your birthday is a great time to treat yourself to a solar report? What's a solar report? Some of you are asking. Well, it's a year ahead astrological report showing what the next 12 months will likely bring for you based upon the time when the sun reaches the exact degree of your natal chart sun. What does it cover? Well, it covers all 12 areas of life represented by all 12 houses. Yes, that's relationships, romance, it's career and money, it's family and healing. And what you'll know from this report is your main focus for the year ahead, where you're most and least supported in your efforts, where you're the most lucky, where you're the most challenged, right? Very important because some of you, you know, maybe you want to focus on your career, but actually the most support you're getting in the year ahead is with home and family. It's not that you can't be a success with that, but getting that information really helps to equip you with the challenges in the year ahead and take advantage of the good luck and fortune in the areas of life where you're getting it astrologically. Another thing that you'll know from this report is where the major changes are most likely to occur for you in the year ahead, where you can expect the unexpected, what is your blind spot, where are you most prone to deception and lack of clarity. This is very helpful so that if you're making very important decisions in life to make these major changes, you can kind of get a second set of lenses to say, you know, Probably in this area, I might not be seeing things exactly clearly or getting all the information. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to do my homework to really make for sure that I pivot optimally. Another thing that you can learn from this report is what are the main pain points in the year ahead that you're likely to occur because that's going to show where to focus your self-healing where to work on self-love, where you need to be gentle with yourself over the year ahead, very important for your spiritual growth. And also what's likely to make you angry over the next year, very important for doing damage control. You know, it comes up for all of us, but you know, when we are forewarned, we are forearmed. And I think all this information that you can get out of a solar report is going to really equip you to make the most of all the energies that are uniquely up ahead for you and you alone. So if you're interested in this 30 minute reading, I am offering it as a special for you know, my happy birthday to you. It's 30 minutes for $50. And who might be interested in this? Well, if you're having a birthday right now, if you've got a birthday coming up or you just had one or you're in the middle of your birthday season, absolutely would be a good time to take advantage and get a snapshot of what's coming up for you in the next solar year. And if you want to take advantage of that offer, then make sure to reach out to me at crownedones.weebly.com. I will have the link in the description box and the comments down below. All right, thanks for watching that message and let's get to the guidance for the next solar year for cancer. What I'm seeing here, it just does center is that there is some issue of you healing something and coming into a space where you feel safe to heal something. Uh, this card is saying opening to your spiritual source. And it's about taking the time to rest, rejuvenate, tune into your spiritual source over the next year. Is there something you, I'm hearing, need to restore in your life or recover some kind of loss? This is about getting to a place where you can really hear the guidance of spirit in your life. 
a place that is safe for you. But I am seeing a lot about thoughtfulness, okay? And I'm seeing it here and here where this is a time and space of, I'm getting like almost this meditation, all right? Doing more meditation over the next year, prayer and meditation I'm now hearing. And what's the difference between those two? Prayer is talking to God. Meditation is listening. So uh, more of this over the next year, reflecting, going through some profound healing of maybe physical, maybe emotional wounds, but getting into a still place in your life where things are leveling out so that they can heal. And this might have to do with difficult situations that have come up in your life over the last year or two where you are getting again i'm hearing restoration yet again um for others of you i am getting another message that by you know laying low and being very in tune with spirit and not so engaged in the busyness of this world you can actually avert a lot of difficult situations in your life over the next year and now i'm hearing less is more so some of you need to kind of pull back so that you can get where you're going and with this reach your destination card this is about your light shining brightly because all of your hard work and effort is finally paying off and it's a great card indicating that you're going to get there okay you're going to be successful you're going to be rewarded for what you put out there in terms of your energy what you invest in and I am seeing a spotlight being on you as well, where people are acknowledging you making progress in your life. But I am also seeing another thing of you seeing the world differently. You seeing things lifting off, taking off, uh, maybe with dreams that you've had, dreams of moving forward or bringing something to fruition. And some of these dreams might have been long held dreams that finally take off over this next year, simply because you put a lot of hard work and effort into it, you lay low, you listen to spirit um, whenever spirit is leading you to do that. And, you know, as, as spirit led, you complete projects that were maybe left incomplete from the last birth year, or you resolve relationship issues that were unresolved over the last year. This is a time of wrapping things up for you, healing, repairing, restoring over the next year. So that you can get where you're going and have something to celebrate, which, you know, is a successful culmination of events, finally. Now, how do you get there? Well, I mean, again, I've said that I think it has a lot to do with you being spirit-led and doing a lot more prayer and meditation over the next year. A lot of healing, okay? But I'm also getting with this narrow pathway card. It says, tread thoughtfully. So this is about not making quick decisions it's about thinking things through and not rushing into anything particularly if there are potential difficulties especially if these are unresolved difficulties from the past loose ends that need to be tied up with projects relationship difficulties you will know what it is spirit will guide you and show you if you're not sure and i think that once you do this once you stay focused on the healing restoration work, then um, you're going to get forward movement. You're going to find success. But you have to not allow yourself to get distracted over this year. And I'm, I'm also hearing slow and steady wins the race, okay? Uh, both of these energies are about kind of maintaining a low profile and even keel just to keep it going and doing your due diligence um, to tie up any loose ends. And then when you take that approach, relationships are going to grow. Projects are going to take off. But you can't be in a hurry with this energy. You have to let things happen organically. While at the same time being very thoughtful in all areas of your life and spirit-led as well in terms of how am I going to respond to the way life is happening and unfolding organically for me. Well, I hope that helped y'all and I am wishing you a happy birthday. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.